Hey everyone, it's Mike at Guitar Tricks, back with another lesson, this one on pinch harmonics, or squeals. Sounds like this. So what you're doing is you're picking a certain way to add some higher harmonics to screech out onto the note you're playing. Alright, so I'm using the 5th fret of the G string to demonstrate this technique, which is a C note. And the basic technique is that once you pick the note, you have to add in almost simultaneously, it happens really quickly after you pick the string, to just lightly touch the string with the edge of your thumb, just a little bit of flesh on there. So there's a couple ways that you can think about doing this. You can choke up with the thumb right on the edge of the pick so that it's right there when you dig in. Or you could also just try to flick your wrist as you are picking these. All right, so these harmonics, as you can hear, are all the way in this area, all on top of the pickups, okay? So you can experiment with all sorts of different tones, all sorts of different effects coming out there. This works great in any style. I've heard it in blues, country, all through heavy rock like Billy Gibbons, all the way through to full shred metal like Zach Wilde and beyond. Okay, it works great on licks when you're improvising or playing some leads. Add a little bit of emphasis and a little bit of texture on to your notes that you're playing. Also works great with riffs, okay? If you've got some single notes in a riff, you can really make some of those notes pop out. That kind of thing, okay? So lots of experimentation to be had. It's gonna be a little bit frustrating at first until you get the hang of it, but just keep at it. One tip I'm gonna give you is it helps a little bit to have a lot of distortion on your amp. So whether you get that from a pedal or whether you can crank up your amp for more distortion, that can help a little bit to get these harmonics to pop out. So when you're getting closer to refining this technique, okay, you'll be able to hear it that you're on the right track a little bit quicker and then just work on experimenting and refining it to have it in your toolkit. Great addition to all sorts of expressiveness. Hope it works out great. Have fun with it. We'll see you on the next one.